I was born in Anacortes, Washington, a wonderful uh, town, uh, a small town actually, a fishing uh, place, a, a place where salmon fishing and logging and the lumber mills were the industry. It was a, a very energetic town when I was a child. I chose law because I ran out of other alternatives trying to find what my role was in life. I had um, thought about everybody else around me seemed to know what they were going to do. They were either going to be an engineer or something. Um, but I just had no clue when I was in college. And so I stumbled into law and law found me. And it was um, love at first sight. Gonzaga was a, a, a tremendous learning experience for me. I, I learned so much there. I learned how to study. I learned uh, about relationships with people. I had that great Jesuit uh, education. Uh, Gonzaga was a true uh, turning point in my life. Well, as you know, the Jesuit education believes in educating the whole person. And they teach the students to see God in everything. But they also teach that we have an obligation to promote justice, to be, to, that we're part of a cultural, um, global um, world, and that we have an obligation to be committed to the well-being of all people. In fact, the Jesuits have a Latin uh, expression which translates people for others. And it's sort of like, you know, in Isaiah it says, um, see that you seek justice, defend widows and orphans, and help those in need. And it, that was the real summary of, of the Jesuit education. So when I got out of Gonzaga, I was convinced that I have a, had an obligation to help other people, that I had to use what I had been given at Gonzaga for the benefit of others. And so the Gonzaga training from the Jesuits was uh, extremely important in the formation of my thinking about who I was and what my obligation was. Well, my greatest personal achievement was talking my wife into marrying me. My greatest professional achievement has been, I would call, leveling the playing field for ordinary people in courtrooms against the rich and the powerful against large law firms representing large corporations, against government, giving people a fair shot at justice just like everybody else and just like the rich and the powerful. And for that, I've uh, been grateful for my training at Gonzaga. I'm proud of the fact that my friend Christine Gregoire uh, asked me to represent the state of Washington when she was attorney general in the tobacco litigation. I considered it a privilege to work with her. I um, am very proud of the uh, work I did for the Brame family in establishing through that lawsuit a, um, a, a center for abused women and for changes in the law relating to uh, domestic violence. Um, I am proud of the fact that I was asked by the Brady Gun Center to represent the victims in the sniper shootings on the East Coast against the gun industry. Um, so there are certain cases that stand out, but frankly, uh, all of the clients I've represented are important, and I, I don't mean that uh, in anything other than a sincere way. I would like to uh, be able to share what I've learned with others, and perhaps to ensure that I have made a difference in terms of good. You know, there's a, there's a um, Bobby Bear, a country western singer, has a song, and, and the lyrics are, will anybody know I've been here when I'm gone? And I'd like somebody to know I've been here when I'm gone, but in, an, in a good way. You know, I had a, an amazing childhood. Uh, I look back on it with the greatest of fondness. Uh, for the most part, a single mom uh, who worked very, very hard uh, and taught me uh, the importance of education. She always said, if you want to get somewhere, there are three things you need to do. Education, education, education. Uh, grew up in a kind of a rural part of Auburn, Washington. Uh, you know, it's so rural that uh, much of my uh, senior years uh, in, in high school were spent blueberry picking, blueberry shed boss, that kind of thing. Uh, very active in school, very engaged in school. Loved my upbringing in Auburn. After graduation from undergraduate school, I went on to be a caseworker and felt that uh, basically all that I wanted to achieve was simply not, not there for me if I stayed in that profession. I have utmost respect for the profession, but I really wanted to do 
a whole lot more for the community at large. And I wanted to do it through my profession. And I felt law was the vehicle. And so went to law school with that in mind, and I have never looked back. I have forever been reinforced that the law is one of the greatest vehicles to bring about good. Good for an immediate community, good for a single person, good for a country, good for the world. So uh, back then I was pretty young when I had that thought in mind, but it was the right thought and, and uh, my legal education has proven it to be true. You know, I, I'm not sure that anybody can say uh, law school is the greatest thing in the world with the rigor of the coursework, but I can't imagine a more uh, important experience in one's life to really fundamentally change how you think. Uh, the experience that I had not only with the professors, which was a wonderful experience, and to this day I'm very fond of a number of the professors that I had uh, when I was attending Gonzaga, but my friends, uh, my fellow classmates who were intellectually stimulating, the dialogue was always uh, one that you could count on to learn a lot, to respect a lot, to get a different point of view. So the other thing is I think that Gonzaga um, really instills values and ethics in their students, which I really respect and I very much appreciate. Well, because uh, Gonzaga is based in the legal community of Spokane, which is very supportive of the law school and the law school in turn supportive of the legal community, I was one of those who got an opportunity, got a telephone call uh, after my first year asking if I would consider being a law clerk for the Attorney General's office. And I decided that I would go give it a try since I had worked previously for social and health services I thought I might be able to add some perspective that might not otherwise be there. And my experience at the Attorney General's office was second to none. But it was inspired in part because Gonzaga so much valued the practical experience of law and in particular giving back to the community at large. And so when I became uh, the head of the Spokane office, we always had law clerks from Gonzaga Law School. Uh, when I became Attorney General, I reinforced it constantly. That is not the experience of many law schools. Uh, I can tell you that because my daughter went to law school. The name shall remain anonymous, but the fact of the matter is the value of the community and the support of it, the willingness to hire those young students and let them have the practical experience, to let them know there's a part of law that isn't about just your own work and being reimbursed, but giving to the legal community and making sure that people, now through the clinic, for example, get opportunities to be represented they never would have otherwise, I think speaks highly of the education at Gonzaga. I got a letter here not all that long ago from the mother of a young child that I had done the dependency and then ultimately terminated the parental rights, severely abused baby. The foster parents adopted this young girl and later wrote to me uh, just a few years ago about the success of this young baby, now an adult, who'd graduated uh, in social work uh, from undergraduate school, was going on to law school, and had told her mom that she wanted to follow a career much like mine. Now, it's one thing to settle a, a case. It's another thing to make a difference like that in the life of an individual. So frankly, I'd have to say I, I'm awfully proud of that letter. And, to see the success of that young girl. My goal now is to be the best governor I can possibly be. And I turn to my legal skills all the time in my work. Uh, amazing legislative session that we've just finished. And again, I used my legal skills to bring diverse parties together and find a common vision and a solution. Um, so I, right now, I'm really really strong on how can I leave to the people of the state of Washington really what I think they need and deserve, which is a world-class education system, health care for all of our citizens, and a vibrant economy where the citizens love their quality of life and they feel safe in their communities. So that's a big, that's a big order. Uh, and we began it, uh, this legislative session in particular, but there's a lot more to be done. Uh, and so I hope I can stay the course, get that done, and leave it as a legacy to our people. I've always believed in whether I'm practicing law, and it's public or private practice, serving as uh, attorney general or governor, you really have to have a moral compass, and you can't let anything take you away from that moral compass. So I work hard, uh, I educate myself, I listen, I, I mediate problems, 
But at the end of the day, that moral compass is what keeps me steady and strong when I try to problem solve and when I try and do what I do professionally. And so I'd say that's the one personal thing about me that has led me always to be as successful as I have been. I was born in Pendleton, Oregon, and I was raised really on the West Coast. My family lived in California, Oregon, Washington, and Hawaii. I had a wonderful childhood. I'm the oldest of seven children, and we are a very close-knit family. Uh, we moved a lot when we were growing up, and so we really relied on each other and were friends with each other. And my parents were very close to their families, and so we had a very loving, extended, involved family. So I had a very happy, um, adventurous, exciting childhood. I chose law after a long discerning process. I think it actually began when I was a little girl watching uh, Perry Mason with my mom and thinking I wanted to be Penny Mason. And it was reinforced when I uh, would defend my younger brothers and sisters if they got into arguments or if I saw an injustice, I always wanted to jump in and to right it and to correct it. But I, in college, took time to really explore a lot of things, even though my test scores kept coming back very high to be a lawyer. I wanted to be sure it was right and that I wasn't doing it just because everyone else thought I should do it. But after a couple of years with my political science degree, I decided that law really is what I wanted to do because I wanted to have the skills and training to be able to help people. And I realized lawyers were people that could help people, and I thought I could really make a difference if I was a lawyer. Um, my career started in 1984 when I graduated from Gonzaga Law School and I had the opportunity to come and be a judicial clerk here at the Supreme Court. I started first with Chief Justice Williams and then continued with Justice Goodloe. After my two years with the court as a judicial clerk, I went to the Attorney General's office and worked there for 16 and a half years. And I had the ability and the opportunity to work in a variety of divisions. I worked in revenue, in administration, in transportation and public construction, in corrections, and then back at revenue. So I was sort of a utility uh, infielder for the Attorney General's office. But it was a wonderful opportunity because I had the opportunity to practice in both state courts and in federal courts, in both the trial courts and in the appellate courts. And during my uh, time at the Attorney General's office, I was very active also, first in Washington Women Lawyers and then subsequently in the Washington State Bar Association. I was uh, the first public sector and second woman to ever serve as president of the Washington State Bar Association. And it was about five years after that that I had the opportunity to uh, run for the Supreme Court and was elected to the Washington State Supreme Court in 2002 and began in January of 2003. I found Gonzaga Law School to be a place where the faculty and the administration really cared about the students. They challenged us, but they also inspired us. And they cared about us as people and wanted us to really contribute to the legal profession in a positive way. And I think it's just wonderful how uh, the law school has such an emphasis on uh, public service and on giving back, and that was very important to me. One of the reasons I went to law school was because I wanted to make a difference, and I wanted to contribute uh, to the community and to society in helping people solve their problems. And so Gonzaga really gave me the foundation that enabled me to uh, do that in the way I wanted to. My overall experience at Gonzaga was wonderful. I actually remember my second year sitting in an administrative law class, and it was a large class, probably a hundred students, and just having a feeling come over me that